As our plane approaches the gate, I would like to invite you all to join me on an epic adventure. For two weeks, we will tour and hike our way through southern Utah and see some of the most incredible, mind-blowing scenery imaginable, and even the unimaginable. We'll visit places like Zion, Bryce Canyon, Arches, Canyonlands, places in the Grand Staircase Escalante like Coyote Gulch and Neon Canyon. I will push myself to the limit, physically, spiritually, mentally, and emotionally. After almost two years of planning, canceling, replanning, rescheduling, postponing, I can't believe this day is finally here. As our plane takes flight, pinch me, because I feel like this is all just a dream. That was completely unplanned, unexpected, and unbelievable. Freaking Mother Nature with her light wand. Me. Watch your step, idiot. You kind of sweating my ass off. Pop tarts. That was cold. Holy shit. Who knows? But upward and onward. Okay, welcome to Las Vegas, everybody. We made it here okay. Our plan is to gather our stuff as quickly as we can, race out of town, and get to the Valley of Fire for sunset photography. So let's go get our car. There's our ride. And uh, a major accident had me sitting here with this view on I-15 right in Las Vegas for almost three hours. Yeah, at least the sunset was pretty to look at. And we didn't even get to our hotel till well after 1 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Hakuna Matata, man. We still got this. We're on vacation. Greetings, good morning, and good day. Welcome back to DRP TV. We got into the hotel at the lodge around 1.30 in the morning. By the time I unpacked, got everything squared away, it was well after 2, 2.30. So I got a lovely three and a half hours of sleep. Woke up not feeling all that well, but uh, when you're at Bryce Canyon, you get up and you go see sunrise. It was a little late scrambling out for it, but uh, here we are. Welcome to Bryce Canyon, everybody. Okay, everyone, I thought this might be a little helpful for some of you out there, so I brought up a map of Bryce Canyon in the area that we're going to be hiking in this video. This dark red line up at the top is the main road that comes into the park up here on the right. The dark brown here, this goes down into the quote-unquote canyon, and these are the trails you can take where you get to hike down into the canyon and actually visit the hoodoos and spires up close and personal and see some amazing views. So for this video, I arrived on the road up here, Route 63, I came into the park, past the visitor center, and I came down here to Sunset Point, which coincidentally is a really great spot to watch sunrise, and it has some of the park's biggest features, such as Thor's Hammer, Two Bridges, and Wall Street. They're right here at Sunset Point. 
So after watching Sunrise, I went down the Navajo Loop Trail to this junction. And then from here, I took this little side path that takes you over to the Peekaboo Loop Trail. Now this was a really great trail. From here, it really goes in a circle. And the arrows went clockwise. And I was told to go clockwise. And I went clockwise. And I don't think it matters too much. But the views will be amazing whichever way you go. But anyways, I went on a clockwise circle. It brings you right back to where you started from. From there, you can go back over to the Navajo Trail. You can go right back up out to Sunset Point, or you can continue on the Navajo Trail, which is what I did. It will lead you to the Queen's Garden Trail. That will bring you up out of the canyon at Sunrise Point. And then it's really just a half-mile short flat walk right back to Sunset Point, so it's no big deal. Kind of goes in a figure eight with some amazing views. If you have one hike to do, I would recommend this one. All right, hope you found that helpful. Take care. Okay, after a quick run back to the car, we are loaded up with water and we got some snacks and we are ready to get this hike underway. And that's a little tip for you too. Make sure you bring plenty of water on these hikes. Maybe throw on some sunscreen and a hat because you'll be walking out in the hot sun all day, no matter what time of year. You definitely want to protect yourself. And here, just one more last look at Thor's hammer basking in that early morning sun. That view never gets old. <laughs> This is pretty crazy going down those switchbacks, going on the Navajo loop, go play in the hoodoos. There are so many neat little hidden gems here. Two bridges, pretty cool. So obviously the attraction here at Bryce Canyon are all these rock spires they call hoodoos. And Bryce Canyon boasts having one of the largest collection of hoodoos anywhere on planet Earth.
also, I came to a rather confusing intersection on the trail. And I asked this couple coming up the one way for a little help. And they recommended I deviate off the Navajo loop. And I am now on the Peekaboo loop, which will take me right back to where I was. And then I can finish the Navajo loop. But they said that this was a pretty stunning hike. And uh, I would have to agree. I really found myself in total awe of this alien landscape I was walking through. Every twist, every turn brought something new. It was just total eye candy every which way you looked. I was as much engrossed by the trees as I was the rocks. Some showed evidence of wildfires and it was amazing to see them just thrive even after that. So many little doorways and windows just like this one here. And you'd walk through and just wonder what would be on the other side. <laughs> oh look, more trees and rocks. Just kidding, every view was unique in its own way and I just could not get enough of it. Now I had been staring at these two large holes up at the top of that ridge line for over a mile. I was so happy the trail kept bringing me closer and closer so I could get a better look at them. And for those that really want to just take their time to look around and enjoy this area, you will see countless numbers of windows and bridges, you know, scattered in amongst the thousands of hoodoos. It really is such a unique area that you need to take your time and explore. Slow down, look around, put down the cell phone, and enjoy the beauty of nature around you.
There are many things about beautiful Bryce Canyon that I will always remember. One aspect that I don't think it's quite enough mention is just how much this park really is a park for everyone. On this hike, I saw families with grandma and grandpa, teens and toddlers, and babies in backpacks. There's nothing technical about this trail. If you can strap on a pair of hiking shoes or sneakers and don't mind going for a walk for a while, everyone can do it. And for those with mobility issues, you can stop at the many overlooks and enjoy the park's beauty literally just a few feet outside your car door. So this park can be seen and enjoyed by all. And oh my god, will I always remember this day for the many, many Sunstar photos that I took. And second to that is the glowing rocks that the sun provides in this park. I think I took more Sunstar photos in one day here than I have my entire life previously. And for the record on this day, I hiked a total of 8.4 miles, burned 950 calories, and had a total elevation gain of 1,850 feet. Which may sound like a lot, but really, it was nothing severe and it was spread out over almost 8.5 miles. So again, anybody can do it if you just take your time and pack your water with you. As I make my way up to Sunrise Point, just in time for sunset, I can't help but reflect on what a perfect and amazing first day of photocation this was. I really hope you've all enjoyed coming along with me on this day. Talk about a seat with a view. Thank you all so very much for watching. I really can't wait to wake up and see what tomorrow brings. Good night, everyone.